We actually have a tattoo, and the idea is that individually we're whole, but together we're more. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the partners of celebrities who primarily earn a living away from the limelight. If there's more uh, attention paid for whatever reason to to that, then, oh, then, I, think the that's, then I think that's good. <laughs> Number 10, Dolly Parton and Carl Thomas Dean. While Dolly Parton was touring the world as one of the biggest country acts in the world, her hubby, Carl Thomas Dean, was working nine to five in a very different industry. He said, I didn't choose this world, I chose you, and you chose that world but we can keep our lives separate and, and together. Now retired, Dean used to operate his own asphalt laying company. Located in Nashville, Tennessee, the company dated back to the late 70s. After meeting at a laundromat, the two married in 1966 and have remained wed ever since. I have been married for 54 years this year, 2020, and I have been with my husband for 56 years. We dated for two years before we married, so we've been together most of our lives. And we're still happy. Can you believe that? A bit of a mystery, Dean chooses to stay out of the spotlight, preserving his anonymity, while Parton continues to run her own entertainment empire. We're very secure in who we are, and we love each other a lot. Number nine, Taylor Lautner and Taylor Dome. It's just kind of incredible that you found each other. <laughs> like, yeah. it's, it's, it, it, I don't know one person named Taylor like in my personal life. So the fact that there's, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, now you got it's not They may share a name, but they don't share a profession. Twilight star Taylor Lautner and his wife Taylor Dome married in November 2022 after dating for several years. Dome is a registered nurse and mental health advocate who obtained her nursing degree in 2019. Um, and I ended up having to step, step away from the hospital due to PTSD, depression that I got yeah. from that. Uh, and I know a lot of us were dealing with that because COVID yeah. was, you know, such a hard time for everyone. And I kind of wanted to figure out a way to give back and share what I was going through because we were all in the same boat. In support of her mental health advocacy, Taylor runs a website and blog, Lemons by Tay, which is dedicated to health and self-care. In 2022, her husband shared that Dome has legally changed her last name to Lautner, which has made for some interesting travel stories. TSA like check-ins at the airport back in oh. they get they're like we need taylor and we're like I suppose. Which hi one? yes hi. hello we are both they're like no taylor lautner and we're like also oh my gosh both. yeah number eight ilana glazer and david rooklin before ilana glazer was cracking up audiences on broad city she was already making her future husband laugh I met him before, I met him after FX passed, before okay. Comedy Central picked up the show. Okay. So I was very humbled. <laughs> Meeting in Washington Square Park before she was a comedy star, the actress fell for David Rooklin, a New York-based scientist. The couple met in 2012 and married quietly in 2017. It came together um, kind of quickly, just because it was all there already. It wasn't like right. some rush thing, right. you know, like I, I'm not, I'm not like that, really. Yeah. Um, so we've been together for so long, it just kind of all came together in the right way. More recently, the pair welcomed their first child, a girl, in 2021. Despite his science background, Brooklyn also expresses his artistic side. On his Instagram, the NYU grad frequently posts his own original hand-drawn sketches. Seems like these two found the perfect formula for a well-balanced relationship. He's like a computational biologist. I'm like sort of getting it, but he um. But just he by works. saying that, we'll get yeah. no follow-up from anybody yeah. because we're like, yep, sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Number seven, Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Tasha McCauley. If he says yes, come back and tell me. If he says no. In 2014, Joseph Gordon-Levitt surprised fans when he got married in a super secret ceremony to tech entrepreneur Tasha McCauley. The 500 Days of Summer actor and McCauley have kept their personal lives under wraps, but have revealed that they expanded their family by welcoming a son in 2015 and another son in 2017. He's just a baby, you know? Right, right. So he hasn't made the choice to be in the public eye, and, and that's a choice that I would like him to be able to make when he's older, yeah. you know? Yeah. 
when he can think about these kinds of things and make that decision for himself. In addition to being a tech CEO, Macaulay is also an expert in the field of robotics. While very little is publicly known about their relationship, we love to see a happy couple living life on their own terms. Oh, well, it's here. There's no use in asking. He's in his room. Oh, take it Number six, Lisa Kudrow and Michelle Stern. Does he ever say to you, au contraire? Never, not one time. So he agrees with everything you say? <laughs> not one time. Things between television icon Lisa Kudrow and her hubby, Michelle Stern, didn't exactly get off on the right foot. Originally, the advertising exec and the friend star met because he was dating Kudrow's roommate. The future spouses found themselves both single a few years later and reunited at the roomie's birthday party. And the rest was history. I like your ring. Thanks, my husband gave, gave it to me. you when you were engaged. <laughs> now for. Uh... 18th anniversary. Married in 1995, the two have shared decades together and welcomed a son in 98. In the past, Kudrow has credited their shared sense of independence as one of the reasons their marriage has lasted so long. We're sure that also having two very different career paths has helped keep them intact. 20 years, 30 years, you'll get to travel somewhere. One day, I guess, we'll go yeah. away. No, it doesn't matter. Every day for us is a honeymoon. <laughs> Number five, Jennifer Lawrence and Cook Maroney. I love it! I love it! Don't you love it? It's incredible! It's so gorgeous! Will you do us the honor, please? 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 As one of Hollywood's biggest movie stars of recent years, Jennifer Lawrence has found a great balance between being a famous face and also keeping her private life on the DL. In 2019, the Academy Award winner married Cook Maroney, whom she met in 2018. It seems that their blackout, their social media blackout worked. We don't have a lot of pictures, and I was happy to just keep it that way. The New York-based art gallery director met Lawrence via a mutual friend in 2018. In 2022, they welcomed their first child, a baby boy named Sai. Although they earn their living through different means, both Lawrence and Maroney work in the arts, where their shared passion of creativity is truly inspiring. Why is Cook the one? Why is he the one that, that made you say, uh-uh, throwing that away? Um, well, he's just the best person I've ever met in my whole life. It was a, it was a very easy, easy decision. Number four, Anne Hathaway and Adam Schulman. I don't want to like go on about it, but yeah. The last time we talked, the way you talked about him. I'm blushing. And you've been together, <laughs> you just celebrated 11 years? Uh, 11 years married, 15 years together. What could be more romantic than a custom-made engagement ring that is designed by your future spouse? Well, that's exactly what Anne Hathaway's hubby, jewellery designer Adam Schulman, gave the actress when he popped the question. I can't believe it. It's so weird having this on my finger. I mean, I look, even sparkles in the ring. The couple were married in 2012 and Hathaway gave birth to their two sons a few years later. In addition to being a designer, Shulman has also dabbled in acting, appearing in television shows like American Dreams. But I'll need the ticket under a different name. I'm sure Miss Day told you. I need to leave the country and the father said you could help me get a ticket. In 2014, he added the role of co-producer to his resume when he joined his wife on the film Song One. Seems like Shulman and Hathaway are a multi-talented power couple. I don't expect him to complete me. And I don't think he expects me to complete him. Like, he's his own person, I'm my own person, and we choose to be together because we believe we make each other better and this union is something that we both want to participate in. Number three, Seth Meyers and Alexi Ash. For years, Seth Meyers has been making audiences laugh on his late night talk show. In 2008, he found someone to share his jokes with in Alexi Ash. I think she would have my beautiful blue eyes. Beautiful blue eyes, Alexi, let's see the card. I really like my green eyes. The comedian married the human rights lawyer in 2013 in a small but star-studded wedding that included guests such as SNL alum Amy Poehler. Since then, the couple have gone on to raise a family. Why would you get us this? 
Well, at night, your child will want to defend itself against anyone who, who will harm it because the night is dark, dark and, and full, full of terrors, terror. exactly. <laughs> and also, it, 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 it rattles. It's a rattle sword. Based in New York City, the happy couple balances their demanding careers, family life, and living in the public eye with a sense of humor and lots of laughter. Beautiful, smart, strong-willed. I couldn't Ooh. say that, by the way. <laughs> well, I couldn't say it. OCD. <laughs> Number two, Ken Jeong and Tran Jeong. Before Ken Jeong was one of Hollywood's most in-demand comedic actors, he was playing a very different role, a doctor. Things change. We don't have time to debate this. What? No. But no, I'm not comfortable with that. I'm not. No, would you please just listen to her? <sighs> Fine. Do we want to do? Based in Los Angeles, the former internal medicine practitioner met his wife, Tran Jung, who was also a doctor. Both working at the same hospital, their love grew as Ken aspired to change careers. Supported by Tran, the Knocked Up star made the leap from MD to professional actor in the late 2000s. Focus, pay attention, okay? We're a team, okay? Around the same time, the couple welcomed twin daughters. Shortly after, Tran was also diagnosed with breast cancer, which she survived. Through their ups and downs, the Jangs have remained together through their personal and professional changes, all while having each other's back and sharing many laughs along the way. There's these inside exactly. jokes just between me and Tran. I, I, it would just make me laugh. I would sprinkle yeah. that all throughout yeah. the movie just for me without telling Todd or anybody. Oh, wow. And I would just literally just do little Vietnamese phrases to make Tran laugh. It's like the weirdest love letter. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Amal Clooney and George Clooney. I'm always very proud of her when I see her speaking at the International Court of Appeals in Strasbourg, you know, with her robe on. So it's pretty very, impressive, right? Very impressive. For years, George Clooney was Tinseltown's biggest bachelor. Just when it seemed like the Academy Award-winning actor wasn't going to settle down, he was thrown for a loop when he met human rights attorney Amal Alamuddin. And she's, you know, stunning and funny and the smartest person in every room she walks into. And, uh, and I was really taken with her. Introduced by a shared friend in 2013, Clooney proposed only a few months after their first date. Hitched in a lavish Italian ceremony, the couple soon became one of Hollywood's most glamorous pairs. In 2017, they welcomed twins. As a barrister, Amal has served on many high-profile human rights cases, teaches law, and helped establish charities such as the Clooney Foundation for Justice. I think it's wonderful that celebrities would choose to spend their time or energy or you know the spotlight that they have to to raise awareness about these causes. I, I don't really see myself in the same way because I'm still doing the same job that I used to do before. In the comments, let us know what your dream job is. Let's say I do find one of these so-called jobs. I mean, <laughs> with nothing better than a high school diploma, the best I can ask for is minimum wage. And what they take out for taxes? I honestly think I could do better solving crimes. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.